Welcome to Newcrest. So recently I was playing with a sim who was painting a lot, like all the time, and I ran out of wall space for all the paintings. So I figured she deserved a gallery to display her beautiful work. She's almost a famous painter, she deserves it. I'm building on a 40 by 30 lot by some sim starters I built, like right across the street. All right, when I started, I was just going to make a giant empty building just for the wall space, but basically right away, I got overly committed to the idea of having a cute art gallery. Sims 4 doesn't have an art gallery lot, but they do have an art center lot and a museum lot. So in the beginning, I decided to make the lot an art center. The first half of the build was making sure I had all the requirements for the art center, things like an easel, a woodworking table, an activity table, for kids. I figured the story was that my painter sim, right? Like I said, she's almost famous. Maybe she has family money or something. I don't know. She has money though, because all she does is paint all day and nothing else. So I figured she rented this entire gallery for herself. All of the paintings will be from her, which is a cool story or whatever, but I barely wanna talk about the inside right now, which it doesn't mean I hated it at all. I actually didn't and it functioned, it looked okay, but it didn't look how I wanted it to look. I know I didn't need to label the lot and give myself requirements, but I wanted the lot to be functional and I usually, who am I kidding? I always use lot types because it kind of helps me with the build, especially if there are requirements. So like for the art center, one of the requirements was an activity table for kids because I needed that and didn't feel like it fit in the vibe. I just kind of like shoved it in a room downstairs. I also needed a bar with the activity table for the lot. So I feel like it just didn't go together. I tried to like hide it. But why am I even talking about it? Because we know that I end up changing it because of course I do. So let's ignore it for now and focus on the landscaping. And um, obviously I struggled with the landscaping because nothing in this build can really go right. I'm used to making like suburban residential homes, not so much commercial areas. And when I do, I like to make the yard look overgrown, a little less manicured. I think that's a little more realistic. Uh, so I tried to do something similar to that on this lot, uh, but yeah. It was hard to keep in mind that it was still a commercial building. And across the street, there were a bunch of other commercial buildings. Some of the non-playable spots in Newcrest are like little shopping commercial buildings, but they were all on big concrete blocks. So the landscaping didn't help me. But I did try to use those buildings across the street to kind of influence how my art gallery building would look. So I tried to keep it a pretty blocky shape and add the fake balcony so it kind of matched the other buildings. And then boom, this is where I decided to change the lot type. I changed it to a museum, which has different requirements, and they were just like a lot easier to squeeze into the art gallery and still have it look the way I wanted it to look. So two things that I need to focus on if we're doing this specific kind of build is lighting and walls. Because realistically, the only things I should be focusing on is how the paintings look. That's the whole point of the art gallery, isn't it? Basically, Basically, at this point, I felt a lot better about how it was looking, and um, I added more walls and more lighting, and then finally filled it with paintings that my sim actually painted. The museum also requires an easel, so I just kind of put a bunch upstairs in like the lofted area where the bathrooms were. I kind of thought maybe she runs art classes in her gallery. Who knows? I don't know. Just a thought. I also kept this little room upstairs that I had before, just because I, I didn't know what else to put there, so I thought like a little storage room would look good and I kind of thought it still looked good. So I also made it a painting storage room and also maybe a place she could paint, right? It's her gallery. Maybe she wants to come to the gallery and paint. This all started with needing an empty building for storage and turned into an art gallery that I'm actually kind of proud of. Yeah, like I'm a little proud of it. It could have been bigger and cooler or more modern or fun, but I thought this sort of looked realistic and it fit in the world I had here in the universe of this sim. I don't know, I just felt like it worked. I should have another build up in a few days, so I'll see you then. Bye.